Siobhan from EverythingJerseyCity.com and we're here today with another episode highlighting Black-owned businesses in Jersey City. Today we're here with Eliza from Sweat. So please introduce yourself and just tell the EverythingJerseyCity.com family a little bit more about you and your business. All right, well, thank you for having me. Of course. Uh, my name is Eliza, and I am the owner of Sweat. Um, we are a wellness facility. We have two locations. One is in Hoboken, and another one is in Jersey City. The one in Jersey City is under construction because we're transforming it into this incredible wellness space that's going to have yoga, infrared sauna, Reiki, meditation, all things wellness. I think COVID really proved to people that our you know, mind, body, and soul mm -hmm. needed a little bit of a tune-up. <laughs> um, so we wanted to make sure that we provided those offerings. But, um, but yeah, I mean, I, I've been in business. Um, I started in 2015 as a fitness apparel, and then we grew into a brick and mortar, and now we're growing into additional locations. Um, just all good things. Awesome, awesome. <laughs> All right, so we'll love to see more of Sweat in your awesome tour, so let's take a look. All right, come on, let's do it. So in all of our facilities in the front area, it's like a little waiting area, but we also like to make it, you know, a lot of apparel, some retail, um, shop. We started off as an apparel line, fitness apparel. I did 10 years in the military, so um, fitness and working out was always really important to me. So, you know, here we got some drip, some swag. We try to, you know, keep it real cool, real edgy, real, real Jersey City. Um, only hot people sweat. So, you know, as long as you're in that infrared sauna, you're going to be hot. So, <laughs> um, and then you can come on back. We also make our own infrared sauna blankets. So if you're not in the area and you can't come patronize the facility, you know, you could have one for your own house. All right. So we got a couple people here today, but this is one of our suites. So this is what a private suite at Sweat looks like. Um, you know, we wanted to bring something different to the market, something more luxury, exclusive, but also accessible for all, which is why we make sure that our prices are, are never um, too crazy and that we're a place that is very inclusive and other people can come to. So you get your own sauna, their Bluetooth capability. They also have um, chromotherapy. And then we also have lavender infused towels that we keep in every suite. Nice and cool, great for after your session, complimentary water. You can come in here and like I said, it's just a vibe. Relax, you can read a book, listen to a podcast and have 45 minutes to an hour of just some peace and quiet from the concrete jungle outside. And then we'll continue through. We have one of the only private salt rooms in North Jersey. Um, and funny story about this, I actually built it myself. <laughs> so I created this whole wall, did all the wallpaper. Um, like I said, you know, military veteran, I'm, I'm very hands-on, boots on the ground type of, type of thing. So, um, you know, you come in here, there's a, it's like a salty atmosphere. It's really good for if you have allergies or, or bronchitis or congestion. There's an Alexa in here so people can play their own music. And like I said, just vibe in peace. So it's just a really, really chill environment. We're all about making sure that, you know, people just have their wellness, their mental health. And then the last bit would be we're um, working on transitioning this space to be kind of similar to our other facility, mm -hmm. which is gonna have the practitioners and stuff like that. So there'll be a masseuse here, there'll be a Reiki um, practitioner mm -hmm. and a couple other offerings. So that's it. Sounds amazing. <laughs> and I do have to ask, so why Jersey City as your home for your business? This is home. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Jersey City is, <laughs> yeah, Jersey City is home. Like um, I moved to Jersey City, I was like 17, 18. Okay. Um, I came to college here. Mm -hmm. And you know, it was one of those things where like when you go to school somewhere, you yeah. either go back <laughs> home or you lay your roots. Right. And I met my wife here mm -hmm. um, in the Bally's in Jer Journal Square. It's no ah. longer Bally's, <laughs> but back in the day it was. Um, and it's so crazy because now I'm, I am an adjunct professor at HCCC, so I teach there. Ah. And to walk into that school and then see also the place that I was a gym trainer, yeah. like working out and, <laughs> you know, it's just like, it's a real full circle moment for me. So we met over there mm -hmm. and we lived here ever since. Then we bought our first house here. We started our business here and it just became, we just came like really ingrained in the community, you know? So yeah. I love Jersey City because for me, um, you know, I grew up as a, 
LGBTQ youth. Mm -hmm. I, I struggled with my sexuality. Mm -hmm. um, my mom is Latina and my father is black mm -hmm. and I came from a family that wasn't very accepting of that then, right? Mm -hmm. My mom's come around and my pops as well. Yeah. So, you know, um, this place was, was what accepted me. Mm -hmm. it's, it's where I found my tribe. You know, yeah. um, <laughs> I get a little emotional, but <laughs> no, real, 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 uh, real talk. I, um, you know, I just, it's home. Mm -hmm. It's home. So I love it. I yeah. love the, just the community, yeah. you know, that you're putting forth for your community, yeah. you know, just, uh, as a black owned business, um, it's very, very important, especially in Jersey city. So what's one piece of advice you can give to a fellow black owned business, business in the industry? Whatever it is that you want to do, mm -hmm. make sure you do it and don't stop. Mm -hmm. It's all about consistency. Mm -hmm. Like the reality is that a lot of the systems in this nation are not made for us to win. They're not set up for yeah. us to win. So you either have to work within them mm -hmm. or navigate around them. But the one thing that you can't do is stop. Mm -hmm. You can't quit because one, that's what they want you to do. Right. But two, you ain't never going to see what's on the other side if you, if you stop. That's very true. So. Uh, you have a, <laughs> such an amazing story, and I, I love your facility. You. So let the people know where they can find you and where they can come to Sweat. Yes, <laughs> absolutely. So follow us on Instagram, Sweat. Sweat is spelled S-W-3-A-T. And the reason it's spelled that way is because the three stands for mind, body, and soul, Ooh. which we didn't even start that way, right? Mm -hmm. But it came full circle when we turned into a full wellness facility. So it was just... It was divine. It was what it was supposed to be. So sweat.wellness. Follow us on Instagram. You can also go to our website, give a lot of information and benefits on some of these wellness practices like infrared sauna, like, um, you know, Reiki, sound bath. Um, and then also just pull up. Come, come support. Yeah, we got one in Hoboken, Jersey City. Um, also working on another little project with a cannabis dispensary in the city. So we got a couple of things going. So, you know, just... Just support. Be intentional about your spending. Put your money in the places that is important to you. And I hope that we're one of those places. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank um, you. And guys, be sure to check out our further episodes as we continue to wrap up Black History Month. I'm Siobhan from EverythingJerseyCity.com. Thanks for watching. Thank you so much.